La diacre Lynn Smith Reeve sait ce que c'est que de vivre dans la pauvreté. Quand son mari est tombé malade, la vie est devenue très difficile. After two surgeries, the, he was in the hospital weekly, I felt like, and then he was no longer able to work and he became diabetic as a result of the pancreatitis. So we ended up in poverty, living on Ontario Disability Support Program and raising our children. When you're living in poverty, um, you, the, there's this whole thing that um, out there, this attitude that you feel all the time, that really what you have to offer isn't anything or of any value. It's uh, you don't fit in well with middle class people because they have a different value system and you think differently, live differently, you have a different set of hidden rules. Après le décès de son mari, Lynn a étudié pour devenir diacre. Avec l'aide de Vaudon à Mission and Service, Lynn a fondé le projet Bridging Teams à Bridges Peterborough, qui rassemble des bénévoles de divers milieux économiques. Sitting together and listening um, and to each other's stories, then judgment kind of starts falling away. <laughs> because you realize, okay, this person has got this far with that stacked against them. Oh my goodness. So that, those kind of things happen in our groups. We aren't trying to change low-income people into middle-income people. We're not at all. We're, and we're not saying one's better than the other, but our culture and the better jobs <laughs> are middle class and so unless you know how to function there you're always like there isn't a lot of opportunity for moving forward votre générosité par l'intermédiaire de mission and service soutient les programmes qui changent les vies comme bridging team Thanks to Mission and Service of the United Church of Canada, you have had a huge impact on my life and ministry, and you continue to impact the work that we're doing in Peterborough. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.